morning, dragons. I'm Mr. Salerno, and this is Flame, and we want to welcome you to the news of Camelot. Today's Friday, October 23rd, 2020, and before we get rolling flame on our weekend ahead of us, let's take a moment to pause, put our hand on our heart, and say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now pause for the moment of silence. Thanks, dragons. Another gorgeous day on the horizon flame. The sun is going to rise at 727 this morning, and it's going to set at 619. And Flame and I thought it'd be kind of cool to start the show a little differently. We actually got this in the mail. That's kind of fun. It's not a box of cinnamon Cheerios, though. Watch this, dragons. It's a humongous postcard. And it's addressed to Flame, right? And it has... What is that, dragons? What is that creature? Dear Flame, we love your news show and have a question for you. Are you friends with rhinoceroses? We wanted everyone to know they are endangered. Do you know why? Sincerely, Benjamin and James Perry from Denver, Colorado. So Benjamin and James know that rhinoceroses are endangered. Check that picture out, dragons. That's kind of fun. And that really sharp horn. Look at those horns that are on the front. Those are actually made from the same material as our fingernails. Isn't that the craziest? And they're proteins. And just like our fingernails, if they snap or they crack or they need trimmed, rhinoceros's horns, they fall off. And that is one of the reasons they're actually hunted. Rhinoceroses weren't always endangered. About 100 years ago, there were approximately 500,000 of them that were in Africa and Asia. There are two kinds of rhinoceroses that live in Africa and three that live in Asia. But since then, up till today, there are only 29,000. That is such a drastic decrease. And we've not really talked about any of Flame's friends that are endangered until now. So we have to be careful with that. And scientists have said that in the next 70 or 80 years or so, there's a real chance that rhinoceroses could be extinct unless something is done about it. Now, Flame gets the privilege of traveling to Africa and Asia every now and then to visit his buddies, but for us, it's about awareness. It's about making sure that there are different rules and policies that are in place to protect animals like the friendly rhinoceroses, because they are friendly dragons. They're herbivores. They run really fast. They can get up to 40 miles an hour, and they don't have the best eyesight, so they rely on what's around them and their powerful noses and their snorts to communicate to each other. Did you know that? I thought that was pretty fun. They have very, very tough skin, very, very tough feet for walking on rocky soil or different rough terrain. And rhinoceroses love, absolutely love to eat. They eat quite a bit, but they are herbivores, which means they only eat grass and different types of plants. But a friendly friend of flame, nonetheless, while flame is out hunting for tasty fish, a rhinoceros might graze in the grass or take a rest and be protective of his buddies. Dun, 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 dun. It's time for the birthday box. I wonder if we have any birthdays on Friday and Saturday, Flame. What do you think? We do not have Saturday birthdays. But we have Friday birthdays, don't worry. We have Yasmin Espinal in sixth grade. Happy birthday, Yasmin. And Lily Huey in second grade. Happy birthday, Lily. And a special happy birthday to Miss Volkansik. She is our strings teacher. Welcome, Miss Volkansik, and we hope you have a happy, happy birthday. And now the mail. Let's see what's in the mail. We've got two letters here, Flame. It says, Dear Flame, what's your favorite Paper Mario game? Mine is Paper Mario, the Origami King. What's yours? Sincerely, Sebastian Perez in sixth grade. I have never heard of this. Flame, have you ever heard of everything? What? You've. Oh, what? Okay. So, Mario and Luigi. Paper Jam. 
Okay, well, there you have it. Thanks, Flame. I, when do you play those things? Dear Flame, how I like to eat my apples is cut up with peanut butter on the side. It's so good. I agree. It's, it's also, I also have a question for you. What's your favorite thing to do in fall besides eating apples? Sincerely, Emma Ortiz in fifth grade. I know this answer. Rake leaves. That's Flame's very favorite thing to do, and then swoop them up and watch them fly around. Rake leaves. Play football. Love playing catch. Love playing football in the backyard. And going around the lake. It's not always about hunting for tasty fish. It's just about enjoying the fall foliage and the cool, crisp air and being in the fresh environment. What a great question from both of our dragons. Finally, Dragons, we want to give a very special thank you to our DHH, Deaf and Hard of Hearing Preschool Program. Did you know, Dragons, that we welcome some of our Dragons back into the building this week? And they did a fantastic job. Not only did the teachers do great and the assistants did awesome, but the kids, they were in the building and they were learning and having a very nice time as safely as possible under the guidance of our wonderful teachers. So thank you teachers for doing all the work that is needed to make kids come back into the building. And to all the other teachers that are out there, we thank you for everything you do. We hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. So on behalf of Flame, I'm Mr. Salerno. Thanks for everything you do, Dragons, and we can't wait to see you on Monday.